here in this great city and in this great state of Ohio, I am called to lead us in prayer in forgiveness for our nation as our nation asks for forgiveness. No nation is ever going to ask for forgiveness until the people of God in that nation ask for forgiveness. For God hears our prayers and he hears our voice. James 5.16 says, and I know all of you know this, so this is not a sermon, but a reminder. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man makes a lot of power available. If the effectual fervent prayer of one person makes a lot of power available, what kind of power comes from many righteous people Amen. praying together yes. in unison yes. and in one accord? And so as we prepare to pray in this first segment, I want to ask you to do something. I want you to stand up and I want you to join me in lifting your hands and your voice. God wants to hear your voice. He wants to see your hands. This is just not a perfunctory prayer. Uh, this is very, very powerful. So, Father, we lift our hands to you. Even as we pray today, it's not just these prayer leaders coming up with prayers. Holy Ghost, really, it is you praying. You know what needs to be said. You know what you want to bring forth. And so bring it forth through our words and through our hearts and through the sentiments of our words. Father, we bless you today. Yes. Thank you so very much for giving us this country, yes. for giving us freedom to Thank worship. You, Thank you, Lord, that somewhere, as Pastor Tim said, in our past, some Ohioans had the courage to say, with God, all things are possible. They could have come up with anything else, but they had God. They had you on their heart. They had the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, and Jesus on their heart. And so that's who we have on our heart today. So we lift our hands and we use our voices to let you know, Father, that we are depending on you. We are leaning on you in this moment. Continue just to speak to God in your own voice and out of your own heart with your own hands lifted. Just for a moment. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Pray in the spirit, pray in English, pray however you can pray. But let him hear your voice. So now, Father, we come to these steps, not to be political, but to be prophetic. We come to this step, not about government, but about covenant. We come not about politics, but Lord, about a purpose, a plan of the living God. And we repent on behalf of every American that has ever walked on this soil for the things that we have missed. You have been perfect, but we are not. You are flawless, but we have not been flawless. And we have turned our backs on your grace and your greatness. We have forgotten how important life is and how important godliness is. So we repent as a nation. We turn from those wicked ways. We have made marriage what we want to make it. We have made life what we, we have forgotten to protect the life of children and elderly. We have forgotten to protect the life and the destiny of the unborn. We have let it slip and slide. We ask your forgiveness. You gave us capitalism as a gift by which all people could prosper. And in this nation, we have allowed it to become a tool of greed and selfishness. We repent. And Lord, we've allowed our government to take up the slack to care for the orphan and the needy when you call people to do it. We repent of that and turn our back on our wicked ways. And we turn back to you. Holy Ghost, we need your help to stand up and to be what you've called us to be in this nation in the name of Jesus. Father, we know that without us, you won't. And we know that without you, we can't. So we bring these prayers together today. Our authority on earth, along with your power from heaven together, cannot be denied. Let the kingdom of God push back wherever darkness and evil is trying to keep people captive. Keep them captive in drugs. Keep them captive in sin. Lord, break the bonds. Break the bounds. Break the chains. Thank you for it. Let this repentance be the beginning of that. In the name of Jesus, our God is lifted up, Mr. Shouts of Joy. Let us lift our hands in joyful adoration of him hearing these prayers. 